Hey Flash fans, I'm Leanne Aguilera and right now I'm joined by the coolest girl I know. <laughs> Actress and director Danielle Panabaker. Hi, Thank Danny. you. Hi. So good to see you. So nice to be here. So excited because this is your second time directing The Flash. So first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Um, now, this is a very kind of James Bond inspired yeah. episode. When you found out that this was going to be your episode, what was your initial reaction? I was really excited. They gave me a little bit of a heads up, you know, just in terms of yeah. preparation. And it was great. Every time I'd get on an airplane, I'd watch a different James Bond movie. And I'd not seen a lot of them. To like, so go way back and see some of the Roger Moore ones and Sean Connery. I mean, they've evolved a lot over the last 50 years, mm -hmm. for sure. And I've actually already seen the episode. It's very stunt heavy. It is. It's fantastic. You guys had some of the biggest stunts I've ever seen you do on the show. Was that a big challenge for you? It was a new challenge. The yeah. first episode I directed had a lot of visual effects and special effects. And this episode, you're right, had a ton of stunts. Mm -hmm. But our stunts team is incredible. They've been on the show, I think, since season one. And we, you know, read the script and we were talking about some ideas. And they were like, well, what if we tried this? And I was like, if you can pull that off, go for it. Uh, and they did. And they did a really fun job. Well, every time you step behind the camera, it's always so fun, and the fans get so excited. So in celebration of you being here, I pulled a couple fan questions from Twitter. Awesome. Our first one is coming to us from at Daily D Panabaker, and they said, how was the experience of directing again, and uh, how was the experience different from the first time? It was definitely different. I felt uh, more confident this time for sure. I think the first time I was very concerned with, you know, being on time, being on budget, and doing everything uh, very, you know, efficiently and this time I slowed down a little bit more and we got to relax and try a few things which was great. Mm -hmm. um, we have another really fun fan question for okay. you right now okay. and you know that I told you that I have a little bit of surprise yes. for you. <laughs> so this is actually going to be a special fan video message and let's go ahead and, and roll that for Danny. Uh oh. Let's see, fan questions for Danielle Panabaker. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite part of directing The Flash? What's your least favorite mm -hmm. part of directing The Flash? Mm -hmm. Who are your favorite actors to work with? <clears throat> Which actors you'd rather have replaced with a tennis ball on a stick? <laughs> oh, oh, here's one. Uh, now, when Tom Cavanaugh directs, he prefers to be in the scene. Because mm. that way he can tell the, quote, stupid actor where to go and what to do. That guy sounds like an idiot. How about you, Danielle Panabaker? Do you prefer to be in the scene you're directing or not be in the scene you're directing? <laughs> also, bonus question, why are you so awesome? Oh, Tom's the best. Surprise. That's amazing. <laughs> I love that. Aw. Uh, that's the best kind of fan right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, someone who's like literally been in the trenches with you and seen you in your worst moments. Like that's, uh, you know, I feel th that way about Tom and I, I just adore him. That was really great. <laughs> so uh, going there off were of a his lot of questions. questions yes. <laughs> uh, do you prefer to be in the scene? I actually prefer not to be in the scene. And I, Tom is unbelievable and so talented. And I've watched him do it. You know, he can, it, when he's in a scene with actors, He's so gifted and so talented. He can really take the scene in a different direction, mm -hmm. in a surprising direction, especially when he's directing. However, when I'm directing, I just want to be directing. To be in the scene and, you know, trying to watch for everything else is still a bit of a challenge for me. Um, it was particularly hard. There's a sequence in tonight's episode where Cecile and Killer Frost are sort of Cyrano de bergiac yeah. um, uh, Chester and we actually shot those scenes at the same time which is not something you typically do um, and it was very challenging to be directing a scene that I'm in and also to be directing a scene I'm not even watching I'm just listening to on an earwig so it was cool it was fun but it's absolutely one of the bigger challenges for me definitely um, so not only do we have big news because you're directing yet another episode of The Flash, mm -hmm. but also, Danny, congratulations. Thank you. You Thank just you announced very much. that yes. you are pregnant. I am. You and Hayes are expecting your first child together. Yes. How are you feeling right now? Good. I'm feeling good right now. I was really nauseous at first, um, but feeling much better now. Yeah? Yes. Now, what can you tease about your, your pregnancy journey right now? What can you share with the fans? I'm in my second trimester, okay. and it's been great. You know, feeling really good right now, trying to enjoy it because... I have a feeling it's not always going to be this way. <laughs> yeah. Well, the fans are so excited for you. We have oh. another fan question right now, and this is coming from at Kieran Goodfellow. And she says, is Caitlin going to have a baby or are they going to hide your belly? Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> um, I don't think Caitlin's going to have a baby. Uh, I, I think the intention is sort of to 
Ignore my rapidly okay. growing size. <laughs> so we're playing a fun game of hide the bump on flash. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's been done before. Yes. Uh, I have complete faith that it will be done again. So hopefully it won't be too obvious. Did that ever cross your mind of having Caitlin get pregnant? I mean, it's not up to me. It's up yes. to the writers. I, you know, I told them when I, when I was pregnant and sort of left it up to them to make a plan however they wanted to. And um, I think they have a great vision for the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and it's funny because you and I were talking about the fact that you've been playing Killer Frost a lot more this mm -hmm. season instead of Caitlyn. So it would have been very interesting if all of a sudden Killer Frost was with child. I know. She doesn't <laughs> even have a boyfriend. Uh, I know. It is nice, though, that Killer Frost's clothes are a little bit looser than Caitlyn's were, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, speaking of, though, let's take a look at Killer Frost. She's got her killer new costume this year. Are you still loving to wear that one? Yes, I love that suit. I think it's great. You know, it feels very powerful. It's designed in such a cool way. You know, there's all sorts of, like, laser cut into it that catches the light. It, it feels badass. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, the fans are loving it right now, but uh -huh. they also have a, a couple more questions for Killer Frost. Okay. This fan question is coming from at Best of Kate Snow. And they're saying, last season we saw that Caitlyn's mom became a metahuman. Mm -hmm. Is she coming back this season, and will she become a villain like Icicle? I'm a huge fan of Susan, who plays my mom, and I think and I hope we'll see her again. Yeah. I imagine that's not the last you've seen of her. What else do you want to see from Killer Frost this season? Because we've gotten to see her really take the reins yeah. and live a little. It's been fun. You know, one of my favorite things that they've done this season, and I hope we still get to do more of, is she's making a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Like, she doesn't handle things well. Um, and she's very sort of adolescent in that way. And that's been fun to sort of play this obnoxious teenager who reacts badly and hopefully learns her lesson. Well, it's just fun because Caitlin's always been very in control. Yes. She knows when something is inappropriate to say. So to see Frost just kind of go off and say anything that she's thinking has been really fun. What's yes. that been like for you as an actress? It's been great. You know, it's very fun to get to make different choices and to make different choices than Caitlin would make mm -hmm. and to, you know, swing for the comedy sometimes. Sometimes it's a swing and a miss, but hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it goes well. Um, I'm going to pivot to something that I'm actually really excited to talk to you about right now. Okay. And that's the fact that one of my favorite of your past projects, Stuck in the Suburbs, is now available. It's having a second life. On Disney+. Plus. <laughs> yes. Fans can watch this Disney Channel original movie now. Now, I'm curious to know, have you been in contact with Brenda Song and Taryn Killam? Like, have you talked to them? I have seen both of them over the years. It's funny, Brenda and I were just emailing. Uh, and I, I think it's pretty incredible. I love it. I love that fans are finding it. I think Taryn just t changed his, like, Twitter um, profile photo to one of these, which is amazing. I love <laughs> that, that people are so excited to have it back. I love seeing on Twitter when people are watching it again. It's great. I We had such a fun time making yeah. that movie. You know, we were 16. It was awesome. So it's nice. I love that it's having a What do you life. remember most about filming it? Just having fun with Brenda. Yeah. We really had a good time. You know, bike riding, which I don't think I was particularly good at. Um, <laughs> Taryn had, like, extensions in for half of the shoot and not for the other half. It's funny. The director, I actually just saw the director of that movie on an airplane. I hadn't seen him, Savage Steve Holland, in a long time. Uh, and I ran into him on an airplane because that's where I spend most of my time, if I'm being <laughs> honest. I'm either at work or on a plane. Uh, and you said that you've been in contact with Brenda as well. She's got yes. a new show, Dollface, coming I know, out. It looks awesome. It's fantastic. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. That's great. It's so amazing. Would you guys ever want to collaborate again on a future project? Oh, 100%. I'd work with her again in a heartbeat on anything. I'll go over on Dollface anytime. <laughs> Just call. We need, available. we need to make this happen. <laughs> we need to make this happen. Uh, circling back to Flash, we have another fan question that I think that you're going to like. Uh, this is from at Pepe Park, and they said, could you describe Crisis on Infinite Earth? in one word. Now, I think you're going to like this because you can't even say anything about it, so I'm sure you can give me one word. Whoa. <laughs> that would be the word. Were you able to read all the scripts? Yes, I read all of I read all of the first drafts, then things get a little busy. Uh, I'm not in as many of the episodes this year as I have historically, mm -hmm. which has kind of been nice for me to have a little bit of a break. Yeah. Um, but I am. I'm in two of the episodes, uh, and I did read them all. Okay. What was your reaction when you read them? They're great. I feel like, you know, six year, this is our sixth time doing it, which is crazy. I still remember when we did our first crossover and it was just, you know, a couple people coming to Flash and a couple people going to Arrow. Yeah. And now it's become, I mean, it's a month long. It's a production. You know what I mean? It feels like its own separate entity. Um, and it's pretty incredible to see how far they've come. And now the shows, hopefully the shows maintain their own sense and, you know, 
it's the same tone. Hopefully a flash yeah. episode still feels like a flash episode, but just with some friends. Oh, I love that. Mm-hmm. I love that. We'll get some burgers. Yes, oh, exactly. Bring Big belly in. burgers oh. or oh, it's, they always make them look so good. They really do. Yeah, I usually just eat the fries. <laughs> I don't eat the burger. I eat the fries, if I'm being honest. Um, well, I'm just so excited that you are back directing again. And we actually have a fun fan question right now that we're going to wrap things up with. This is from at Alice Keynes. And she says, if you could direct any other DC TV show on the network, which one would it be? Um, I think the next one I'd really like to direct is Supergirl. I feel like tonally they're pretty similar to Flash. It's mm-hmm. still got a lightness to it. And obviously I love Melissa and that cast. So, And they also tend to be a more visual effects heavy episode versus like Arrow that was a very stunt heavy episode mm-hmm. uh, or stunt heavy show. So uh, that's my dream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, are, what are the chances we can make that dream into a reality? I would I mean, love to. It's hard because we basically shoot at the same time. Exactly. So I'd have to leave Flash for a couple of episodes to go direct Supergirl. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Can Team Flash survive <laughs> if I left? I mean, honestly, at this point, <laughs> like, everything's going wrong, so I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look great. <laughs> but there also are so many new faces in Star yeah. Labs that I'm like, I think you could get away with it. It's true, yeah. But I do love the fact that since you were the first female from our Arrowverse to direct an episode, you've really sparked a whole new wave of female directors. Katie Cassidy, Katie Law, it's really stepping behind. I think Melissa's doing mm-hmm. an episode as well. What does that mean for you? I mean, it's incredible. I think it's so important that women support other women. And I've done my best to, I mean, look, all of these women are very talented and very capable. And I know I know both Katie and Katie killed it. And I'm sure Melissa's going to do great. But it's been, you know, I think it's important there's a really nice community of those women and we share a lot together and I'm really proud of them and excited to see what they all do next. Amazing. 